We're the Manawanui Brownie Unit, and this is where we meet every week over beautiful Cox's Bay in West Merrin, Auckland. Where is Palooza that's really special to us? Cox's Bay. Cox's Bay. Cox's Bay, this beautiful bay over here, has a new normal. You used to be able to swim there. The Māori people would have collected shellfish from there. And just up there on the older reef, your doggies would have been able to go for swims from the dog park and plunge into the water. They even had their own jetty. But these days, it's different. The Swim Safe website tells you where it's safe to swim in Auckland. Cox's Bay and Meola Reef are two of the 17 coastal areas around the world where they recommend that you never swim. This includes your pets too. And this is because there are bacteria that are always present in this water and you can get very sick if you catch any of these bugs. There are a number of reasons why things got so bad. How many of you live in an older wooden house? Westmere and Ponsonby are some of the oldest housing areas in Auckland and their pipes are old too. When there's a big storm after a long dry patch, you will all remember some of the storms that we've had this summer. Well, everything that comes out of your drains, off the land and including the water that sits underground gets all washed up into the bay. And when the weather clears, the bugs don't go away because too much damage has been done. Some of the things we can do to improve the water quality in Cox's Bay. Don't leave litter everywhere because litter goes out to the ocean. Pick up your dog's poo otherwise it will pollute the ocean. Careful of items in pipes. So you, you're talking about not putting rags and things down, pipes that shouldn't go down. Don't force them down. The new normal is that you can't swim at Cox's Bay. How do we all feel about that? Cox's Bay used to be a beautiful, wonderful place, but now it's a landfill. Distressed. Distressed. Scarlet. Boo. Boo. Amelia. Oh, I'm actually kind of excited because then we can... Usually we have two sets of pipes, okay? So normally we have um, pipes that your toilet and everything in your house um, flow into and they and they get taken away to the treatment plant, okay? Which deals with all the bad things in it. And then usually we have another set of pipes which is where the clean water goes, okay? Now in, a, in an old catchment like this, we don't, sometimes those pipes are uh, mixed up. Sometimes, um, in very old catchments like this, they only had one set of pipes to start with and it all went to the treatment plant. But as we get more houses and more people, um, those pipes aren't big enough. But what would happen if you did swim? You might swim and you might be alright, but your chance of swimming, if you swim here, your chance of getting sick is much, much higher. Good question. Money. It costs a lot of money. This is the stream that feeds Cox's Bay, isn't it? Yes. Is it looking healthy? No. no. There's water, there's, I mean, there's um, rubbish hanging off plants everywhere. I can see the little plastic bag that's yeah, hanging from the It's a plastic bags, really? It's, it's a plastic really, bag. really bad. We saw plastic bags that pollute our ocean. I looked at some old photos and they're like blue. Is, but now it's not. It's um, yucky because it's green. And do you want it to be like this in future or do you want no, it to get better? No, 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 no. It can't be like this in future. First thing we see is rubbish. So basically, there's too much rubbish in the water. We need more like plants and we need to get rid of the rubbish. I see a shopping trolley in a, um, the sea and it's bad for you. But some days, when everything washes down the corner of our car park, it can be all full of rubbish, and then that then blocks the drain that goes immediately out to the bay behind you. What do you think that means then?
Is this the new normal that we want, girl? 